It's a huge privilege for me uh, to be given the chance to play a leadership role for Ulster Rugby, something that, that I care passionately about. Um, but it's also a huge responsibility. I see it as that. Uh, I think the next six months set the platform and the foundations for the next two seasons. Uh, I th see it as a huge responsibility to supporters to get the, the right culture and, and to get people having something they really enjoy coming to. I have a responsibility to the players and coaches to create the right environment. I have a responsibility to the staff that work here. Um, but particularly for me, I, the, there is something about all the people who are involved in rugby. Ulster Rugby is part of their identity. For me, Ulster Rugby, the sport, the team, best represents who I am. It best represents my identity. And I know that's true of so many people that stand on those terraces. So it's, it's a huge privilege, but it's also a responsibility that we build really strong foundations. Rugby brings joy to people, whether that be playing in their club, playing in their school, uh, playing you know, in their youth team, their school team, their women's team, their, their sort of adult club team, or whether they're standing on the terraces uh, or the, the, the stands watching the team that they identify, the team that actually probably best represents their identity and who they are. That's why people feel so passionately about it. And the more success we can have on the pitch, the more joy that will bring. There's been an awful lot of you know, sort of noise and commentary in the media and social media around the changes going on. So, you know, there is something about bringing a bit of stability, but it's also as a, about building the foundations for the next two seasons. Um, people see, see a lot of the changes as quite negative. I think there's, there's a really exciting piece in all of this. I started out as, you know, my involvement with uh, after playing with you know Rory Best, Ferris, Stevie Ferris, Trimble, Bo, Chris Henry, uh, and others. You know, there's, there's others I could name. Uh, that has been the best team, the best generation of players uh, since we went professional. It carried us for a decade. I've also had an involvement with the academy uh, as chair in, in uh, when in Kieran Campbell's time. I've seen a lot of these younger players coming through that system. In my mind, the 19 to 24 year olds we have at the minute is the best generation since the best Trimble, Bo, Ferris generation. Uh, and I think that's really exciting. I think if we create the right conditions and we give have the right systems in place to make sure that they grow and develop, this can be the best team since that generation. I think it's going to be really exciting. Uh, I don't think it'll be a smooth ride. We're not going to sort of suddenly just get better every week. Um, there's going to be times these players have to learn. Um, and, the, you know, it's a new coaching team. They have to learn. But I think if we all get behind them, supporters included, and particularly create the right conditions so they grow, develop and improve, I think we can get better every year for the next five years. I think it's really exciting. And uh, I, I'm just delighted to be a part of the start of that journey. You know, the last 50 years, I have been a supporter. You know, I've stood in the terrace, I've stood in the stands, uh, I've followed the team here and in, in countries, you know, right across Europe. Um, uh, and so it, it, is, it is my team, I am a supporter. Uh, but I want the supporters um, to have a voice, to have an influence. Um, I, I, uh, in the, the next home game we have, uh, I want to have a session where not just I'm going to you know sort of tell the supporters what I think or what the answers are. I want to listen. I want to hear what their view is. I want to hear their opinions. I want to hear how they think we can be better and what matters to them. Uh, and so um, I will be listening. Uh, the other thing is we're we're looking at you know what's the strategic direction over the next three, four, five years. What do Ulster need to put in place? Uh, and there's been work early work done on that. I would like to give the supporters the opportunity to have their say. Uh, to tell us what they think, to tell us what would make a difference. This is their team, um, uh, this is their province, this represents who they are. They should have a voice and uh, I, I want us to listen to those opinions.